Hello. So this is a weird little badge you may see out in, in about on your travels. Um, it's a badge from World War One, and for a lot of years, like I said with the uh, the medals in the how to collect medals video, a lot of people would not touch this particular badge. Now, when this badge was plentiful, it was a fifty pence to a pound badge all day long, and proper medal collectors would not have it in their collection. What it is, it's a little Cooper nickel badge, one piece with a kind of pin on the back. It says Imperial Service on the front and it's got King's Crown on it. So if I do that and offer it up, you see the one, King's Crown, Imperial Service on a bar and a little pin on the back. Now this is the Territorial Force Imperial Service Badge. It was instituted in 1912 for the British Territorial Force and it was issued to those members who were prepared to serve abroad outside the UK in defence of the British Empire. Now, back. for a lot of years the proper metal people would not have this badge at all. So when it was a 50 pence to a pound badge, don't want one. Why do I want one of them? It's not even a medal. And then in the mid 2000s, something happened, as it always does. What happened was, I've mentioned this book before, all of a sudden, this badge that nobody wanted starts to appear in the medal yearbook. It appears, between the Territorial Force Efficiency Medal and the Territorial Efficiency Medal. And it kind of sits right there. And now, medal collectors who get the book every year, all of a sudden, they want one now because it's now in the book. Now, the medal yearbook price guide lists it as a 12 to 15 pound badge, which isn't strictly true. Now, unfortunately, a couple of years ago there was a movie called War Horse and in the movie the badge is worn imagine this is a World War One tunic where you have the tunic pocket flap it's worn above the pocket flap to show that they volunteered for service overseas now in the movie War Horse they wear reproduction badges in the UK you can buy reproductions of this badge from a company called Soldier of Fortune which is based in Wales for £12. So a repro of this badge will cost you £12. Now in reality a genuine badge you'll pay anything from £5 to £10 for an example. I got this one on eBay paid £6 for it. So this genuine badge cost £6 less than a modern reproduction of the same badge. So that's something to keep an eye out for. It's something that as I've said a lot of proper metal collectors set the floor, back on that again. A lot of proper metal collectors would not touch these at all. They did not want them. But as soon as it starts to appear in the metal yearbook, they all want an example of the type. There are no variants of this badge. They are all the same. There's no precious metal content in the badge at all. It's just a Cupro nickel badge. But because they all want it, the price gets inflated. The badges were never named. They were never ever numbered. So you won't find one to a particular individual. It's the sort of thing that you'll see around the English car boot sale. And you'll pay between £5 and £10 for one. If you're particularly looking for one, have a look on eBay. There are quite a lot of them. But the prices tend to fluctuate. But that's the price you're aiming to pay. Or you can go to the Soldier of Fortune website, you can buy a repro for £12. But for the same money, you can have an original example. And sometimes it costs you less than the price of a reproduction. So that's the Territorial Force Imperial Service Badge. It's a badge, it's not a medal. Nobody knows how many were awarded. And they were never done in a precious metal. So that's something, if you're into World War I, you may want to keep an eye out for.
And as I've said, when it was a 50 pence to a pound badge back in the 1980s, nobody would touch them, didn't want them. As soon as it appears in the metal yearbook, all the serious metal collectors who wouldn't touch it with a badge pole, all of a sudden, they want the badge. So that's just a little thing to keep an eye out for. The Territorial Force Imperial Service Badge by Fanal.